All right, out here with some of these Wilson Combat magazines to see if I keep having feeding issues using these magazines as opposed to the Kimber factory magazines. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's see if it loads around from dropping the slide. Looks like it went into battery. All right. Yeah, seems to be okay. I'm still getting used to shooting after breaking my wrist. First I had to have it straightened at the ER and then I had to have a steel plate put in there. It was a fracture of my distal radius and ulna. Yeah, it was really bad. So luckily that's my support hand, but still it's definitely affecting my accuracy and my ability to handle the recoil. All right, let's try another magazine. Got one jam there. It was the last round. By the other mag. Not one malfunction that time. Just for comparison, let's uh try one of these Kimber factory magazines. Try some more of these Wilson Combat Megs out, see how things go. I'm going to knock the target over. <laughs> All right, these magazines definitely seem to be more reliable than the OEM Kimmer magazines, that's for sure. I will definitely be picking up some more of them. Probably gonna try some of the seven rounders though, because the issues that I have had with these, I'm assuming it's because of the eight round capacity. Because when you have eight rounds in this mag and you try to push it in, you have to really force it in there to get the round to seat in.
through all seven there. Gonna do a meg dump this time. Got through all seven of those. These Wilson Combat 8 round compact 1911 magazines for my Kimber Ultra Carry 2. They obstruct out the bottom of the Megwell a little bit, but in my opinion, it's worth it for that extra round.